I know somebody got banned at a mic because they said they called a woman in the crowd a cunt. No way. Yeah, this was a couple of weeks That's ago. That's fair game. This was a really? couple of weeks ago. Yeah. That's what? What mic was it? I don't know. I no, actually, we'll talk about it after. No, I, I'm serious. I don't know. Really? It was a. Uh, I was just at a different mic, and then the guy came from the mic that he just got like banned from. And wow. he was just like, dude, this shit just happened. Like, it's fucking bullshit. You know who it was? If I you do, do don't I'm tell not going to say it. Tell me after the mic. Yeah, yeah. I'll I probably you. know who it no, is. No, yeah, you know. I actually, I feel like I know exactly who You know who exactly it who it is. All I'm going to say is. That's my dog, but. Backwards hat. God damn it. How can you ban? It's like. Isn't dude, that crazy? Yeah. He's fucking funny, dude. I know. I agree. I agree. And uh, people just need to learn how to take a joke, man. Like, dude. It happens all the time. I like to sit. Sometimes I like to sit in the front near the stage. Just Didn't we talked this get, last week that yeah, if thing. you call someone a cunt and they yeah. are mad about it, we talked about this. Yeah, didn't I we? said that on Steve's. He, Steve was recording. Yeah, yeah, we were outside of a mic. And yeah. That's when Brian took the royal honey pack. That was when Brian took the royal oh. honey pack. Yeah, it's, it's full all circle. It's cyclical. Full circle. So, <laughs> yeah, the we were saying that is you get called a cunt and you get offended. It is only because you are a cunt yeah, that, that makes you sense. are that getting makes offended. Sense. Yeah, I, I think it's that's, logical. That's that's true. But I don't think it applies for every word because I don't believe that black people are n words. But they have the right to get. But they yeah, 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 have you. the right to get mad at the use exactly. of that word. Or so it like, doesn't apply to all words. Like when same. you call me fat and I laugh at it because I am fat mm -hmm. and something I can fix. So mm -hmm. it's funny. And you're conscious of it and you don't take yourself too seriously as all of us shouldn't. Because fat duh. people are funny to laugh at. Yeah, duh. Pretty much, in my opinion, everything is funny to laugh at. That's true. You just have to find the humor in it. Yeah, yeah. And it's very easy for humorous people to, to find the humor in things because there's genuinely humor in everything. I yeah. think but comedy is also subjective. You know, that's us true who, as well. who actually do it and try to find, you know, what's funny, our our yeah. vision, it's a little bit different because we can we can respect something mm -hmm. that someone's doing, even though we personally don't think it's funny. Like, well, that's actually really well written and the crowd's right, laughing. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, you know, like the crowd, let's say an audience member, that might not be their type of comedy and you have no. to respect it. No one owes you a laugh. I agree with that. No one owes you a laugh. We talk, we talk about this a lot, mm -hmm. uh, about like excuses and stuff and... Uh, like, I don't believe that you should, you should rarely ever blame the crowd, if ever. I, I only, the only reason why I say never, or I don't say never, wait, I'm really fucking. No, no, you're right. The only reason you don't say never. <laughs> the only reason I don't say never is because I've been in the game for such a short amount of time that mm -hmm. I, I don't have a proper scale to judge my thing. But so far, every time that I've done bad, it's been my fault. See, that's the way I look at it. I look at it, what did I do wrong? Because, like, uh, last Thursday when I bombed, okay, yeah. they go, like, hey, Lou, come on up. I didn't know I was going to go up. And I was yeah. super fucking, fr like, frazzled. I was like, oh, shit, dude. I'm not, yeah. I didn't know I was supposed to go up. Bill Burr would have went up there and killed? Probably after his long tenure, but maybe not in the first few years. But you, that's why I look at it, though, is like, okay, I need to get to that point. Yeah. I need to look at why did I not do good? A, I should have been ready and been able to turn on my switch every single minute. Yep. And that's I what I agree Well, we, me and Noah even talk about it all the time, right? Like, you see a person fall and drop a bunch of stuff, right? Okay. There's no choice of you laughing. You just laugh. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the same thing with the people. Yeah, it's involuntary reaction, just like a yeah. reflex when someone hits your knee, right? And I think that uh, you can get that same reaction with words. Yeah, no, for sure. But also, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of blanking on the word, but I think it's just, actually, it's physical comedy. Like, uh, that can get you laughs, too, like... It's strange. I haven't really worked on it, but I know it's a thing, and I, I'm going to start working on it now. See, like I was telling you, you have a lot of energy. I like your energy on stage. You're right. saying you're confident. Like, uh, I seen you like hopping around doing shit, and I'm like, this, this guy has energy. Mm -hmm. You could be humping stools and be fucking hilarious, dude. I do hump stools, and you did, and that's yeah. probably why I thought that because I was like, you know, I seen that. <laughs> I, I was watching. I, this shit yeah. got, I, I, so obviously I remembered it. I I'm do like, hump stools. Yeah, I like it, dude. So I good. love the fucking energy, dude. No, you, <laughs> right, it's a harder thing to to learn, honestly, to have that energy. It's like it's good that you're born with that, and you yeah. actually go out there with and it. And that's you know? the truth. It's the truth is if I'm honestly just born with that. Like, um, I, it's just that's just the truth, man. I'm just. That's the way I am. I mean, um, 
it just doesn't I'm sure one day I could do pieces where I'm maybe if I want to be more serious if I want to get some real thoughts out mm-hmm. I'll throw the mic in the in the stand and just stand still for a little bit and talk about it so far it hasn't happened still very new so maybe one day you just gotta out, you know but, don't be afraid to try shit no matter how many people tell you oh that's oh, so yeah. stupid fucking do it dude. dude these people don't matter i've i've learned that uh by doing youtube because i've had ideas that i've saw through where i was just like this has potential all right this has mm-hmm. like real good potential and then i preach it to other people and they shut it down but i still follow through with it and then it actually does blow up and i'm and i'm just like bro i it's my it's like my intuition like i knew it and i was right and there's also been times a lot more times than a lot more times I've failed because I've listened to people. I'll bring somebody a, an idea, okay? Yeah. And I'll and I'll pitch it to them. And they'll be like, you know what, I actually don't really agree with this, blah, blah, blah. No. And then and then they talk me out of it. I have been talked out of ideas. And then I hate that. it goes away. And then actually a couple years go by and I look back and I'm like, damn, if I would have actually done what I wanted to I would have something beautiful right now that I, that I could have, like, that I physically, like, it could be there. But since I let somebody else talk me out of it, I can't. And so, <clears throat> what I try to do and what I, I probably, I don't get them right all the time. But what I try to do is, yeah, constantly learn. And that's a, that's a lesson that I can apply to, to everything now. Yeah. Is, uh, it's not just a small scale idea like, hey, maybe this merch Maybe this merch, like this cool T-shirt idea, would be cool. No, I'm not really feeling it. Well, I'm still gonna make it anyways. Yeah, see how? Yeah, you do what you want to do. You know, don't worry about how other people. And it, as humans, it really fucks with us. We can easily say, "I don't care what other people think," but at the end of the day, dude, we want gratification. We want oh, people yeah, to man. fucking think of us as like in a good way. Definitely. You know, uh, I read this book. It's called The Art of War. You oh, that's a banger, out. dude. I I've heard of it. It's oh, no, very bad. famous. My bad. I'm actually tripping. That is a good book. I mean, The War of Art. Oh, okay. fucking dyslexic or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, but so, a banger though. Who is yeah. that written by? Uh, fucking was it? It's not Thomas. She- is it Thomas Sheffield? I forgot. It's like Sheffield or something. Okay. The War of Art. The War of Art. The Art of War is good too. I actually read that one. Too. Yeah, that's like good for I've like heard learning of that strategy one. in life and shit. Yeah, you know, War that's... of Art. What is this by? Stephen Pressfield? Pressfield. Oh, Stephen Pressfield. Yeah, and and it talks about uh, when you have a goal, right? You have okay. many different resistances. Yeah, and resistance might be someone telling you not to do something, but you yeah. need to a set of like. What, who, what, um, I'm trying to figure out the exact way to say this. Whose opinion matters? You set your opinion. Let's say your mother and your dad, and let's say your friends, and that's it. Those mm-hmm. are the only people that your opinions matter. And you don't worry about anyone else, or, you know, and you just keep doing your goal. You don't let these resistances mm-hmm. hold you down. Yeah. And Naysayers it's really good. I think you, yeah, people, na- yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You should, I think you should really read it. It's, it's, oh, yeah, it's really good. He really will. Yeah, the, uh, I actually have it. I'll let you borrow it next time I see you. That'd be cool. The uh, it's uh, I would like to read that because I'm already like on that path. Like mm-hmm. I'm already I'm st- I'm fucking that that subject. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like I'm I, my dick tips in it. And you just want to so like just be I already to believe force. I already believe that stuff. Mm-hmm. So like it would be good to read that because it would even further my beliefs and probably teach me even more so to make my mind even stronger, which that's, those are my favorite books. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I do love a fiction every now and then. Like, uh, as of now, like Stephen King's like one of my favorite fiction writers. Like, I don't know. I just like being scared sometimes. And he's so good with detail. Yeah. And just, he creates in my opinion, he creates some really beautiful mental images in my head. Yeah. At least maybe not for some people, but, um, what I'm saying is, my, those aren't my favorite books though my favorite books are stuff when i'm reading it they immediately impact my life it's like you unlock new like shit like my yeah. real life yeah. like a different I, way of thinking you're yeah. like oh wow dude like yeah those are my favorite books so I like agree. that will be uh that'll be a, a good one yeah that's a good one um the subtle art of not giving a fuck is a good one mm. that's a really good one yeah you want know maybe that was the one. either way read both of those it's yeah. really good subtle art of not giving a fuck yeah. the war of art Amazing books, dude. Yeah. You know, they help me of looking at things by a different angle. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, if you don't, Smart. if you only know one way of thinking, you're never going to change it. Yep. I agree. The uh, perspectives, like um, a lot of times 
if someone comes at me with like a really leaning one way or the other, and even if I agree with it right off the bat, I like to try to flip it and go to a different perspective. Always, man. yeah, always because and and even if it's like controversial, and like I'm playing devil's advocate with myself, yep, mm-hmm. and just having deliberation in my head with both the sides, trying to figure out which side I believe until I get the bling, and I'm like, oh. Well, this is clearly the more moral the, yeah. or ethical yeah. way of thinking. I'm yeah. a really in the middle mm-hmm. person myself, dude. I have friends who are far left. I have friends who are far right. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I love people in general. I love the stories that people have. I love mm-hmm. seeing how they think. I love yeah. people, dude. You know, just being able to, you know, we're all different. And yeah. we all walk different paths of life. Mm-hmm. And be able to uh, talk about it and be able to touch on it. Have is, discourse yeah. and stuff instead of just yeah. pretend, like forcing everyone to be a cookie cutter of each other. You yeah, know what I mean? It's like that, yeah. dude. Yeah, fuck it makes that. no sense. I agree. The I was w- listening to this one uh, like podcast type deal, but it was more of like a debate between astrophysicists. I've probably seen it. And they were talking that. about how like in early 2000s, these doctors came to these astrophysicists and they... And they were asking them what type of humans they would want to create because they have the technology to create any type of human. Do you want more artists in the world? Do you want more astrophysicists in the world? Do you want more engineers in the world? What do you want? Because we can now breed these in our labs. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And the in this debate or whatever, they were saying how, don't do any of that. They were like, just l- let them be like who they want to be. Because we need the variety. Yep. We don't right. need a specific of anything. We need the variety of everything. Right, because it all influences each other, right? So artists yeah. make uh, a sci-fi movie, right? So they make and, Star Wars that has yeah. holograms. Then the engineers and scientists make those things into real life. You know what I mean? So the art eventually affects the science, affects the engineer. It all We need everybody to make it a part. Yeah, we yeah, all right. need to be able to be able to touch on each other and be able to just like... Yeah, let's touch on each other. <laughs> we need to be able to touch on each other. That's yeah. all we need, Look, bro. I, I'm, by the end of today, I'm seeing Noah's nipple. He wouldn't show me earlier. I know, I'm dude. I got see small nipple. nipples, man. And that's... I'm, I'm going to get in there. All I got right? really small ones. They're like gumdrops. Dude, I, dude, I'm fat. I love gum. I'm pre-diabetic, son. I love some gum drops. Okay? <laughs> you gotta fucking work on that, man. Pre-diabetic, you're like twenty something. I'm probably not pre-diabetic. I don't know. Last time I went to doctors, they just said, "Yo, bro, you just gotta lose weight." <laughs> just because, uh, man, you'll be having to carry around that fucking that pen, and then you just be like this. I'm pretty sure that's for bees. Bees? No, you're thinking EpiPen. EpiPen dude. Yeah. He's thinking of uh, insulin. Oh, you're I'm thinking, thinking of, insulin. Oh, okay. You have to jab oh. yourself a couple times. Okay, I got gotcha, like, fam. Because, like, diabetes, <laughs> you know, you're going to run out of insulin, natural insulin. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to have to inject your pancreas yourself. ain't working right, you know but, what I'm saying? You may yeah. go blind, too. Maybe, but yeah. Get but your legs real nice and thick. You already. I'm already legally blind. Yeah. Okay, I've been masturbating since I was 10. Oh, okay. so, yeah, you can't see a damn so thing. So, I've been going crazy. I was shooting blanks as a young'un. That's true. All right. I was too. Jay, how about you? Yeah, same, dude. Dude, that's we, why. Yeah. See, I always, I always wonder because, like, the thing is, dude, yeah. like, my dick would just quiver. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't yeah, know yeah. what to do yet because you weren't yeah. producing yeah. nothing. But you were like, I'm supposed to be doing this. And then the one day it happened, you're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's I'm like a water playing. park. I'm you're like, like oh. now I got it. I'm like, nice, dude. This is just like Nickelodeon. Nice. Yeah. Slime. <laughs> you got slime. You get slime. I'm like, dude. why do you put this on my forehead? Uh, <laughs> Simba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simba. Simba. Yeah. Damn, Damn, son. Can we rail this in? <laughs>